here with the uh, piano outro from Eric Clapton's Layla. I'll put a link in the uh, description box below to my original video for Layla, which covers the uh, classic electric version, version, as George Harrison would say. And uh, at the end of that video, I touched on playing that piano arrangement on guitar, which is something I really love to do. But I didn't do the full scope and I didn't go into a lot of detail. But since I've done that video, a lot of viewers have asked me to complete it. You know, how do you play that entire outro on guitar? So this is my own arrangement for it. Um, and uh, feel free to modify it if you want to. Uh, but we start off with a C major chord and I'll put the tab up on the screen, but essentially I'm sweeping through the whole chord, then coming back and hitting the bass note, and then the remainder of the chord. Just like that. And then slide your ring finger all the way up to the seventh fret on the A string, and bar, well you can bar at the A string as well, but you'll be hearing the seventh fret of course. But I'm barring across essentially uh, the rest of the strings, okay? But we're not bringing in the first E string. We're just going to sweep right across the A, the D, the G, and the B. So we wind up with this. An inverted C chord, okay? And then uh, to create that kind of, or emulate that kind of rolling cool piano thing that piano players can do, there's a couple of notes in between. see that I came back and hit the A string and the D string and then we play the melody while holding the chord down so that's the fifth fret on the B string sixth and eighth so now we have okay and then we move to an F chord but again I'm just calling it an F chord but we're playing a melody through that So you can see out the gate what I'm doing is I've got the F chord, but now I've got my pinky on the third fret on the first E string. Release it, strum it twice, and you can do all down strokes if you want to or alternate strokes. Either way is perfectly fine. And then what I do is I'm coming back to hit that F note on the D string in between the rest of the melody, again to kind of emulate that rolling pianistic feel. And you can see right there that bar opens up so you get kind of an F major 7. Actually it is an F major 7. So real slow again. And you can see that on the tab I moved to the B string at the 3rd fret and then finally release that as well. So we have all of that together. If you want to use alternate strokes, that'll sound really good as well. And then you repeat all of that again. Right, so that whole section goes twice, and then we move to a B flat dominant seventh chord. From there but let's go over that B flat dominant seventh chord first form the chord strum it from the uh, fifth string down and then what we want to try to do is hang on to the chord as much as we can specifically the bass note for sure so that it rings through the melody so you can see that I kind of lifted up the bar with my first finger to get that open E string but really trying to maintain, again, as much of the chord as I can. And then that's followed with a C chord, and you can see the picking pattern uh, on the screen. Again, using a bit of cross-picking to capture a bit of that uh, pianistic feel. And then we've got uh, just a little hybrid picking here see the two C notes together and the two B notes together. 
Okay, so from that B flat seven chord, we have this. And we land an A minor chord, okay? And we have that beautiful melody to contend with. So what I do is I hit the A minor chord after the... Uh, and after I hit the A minor chord, I hit the B string and the E string again. So we get... And then using double stops... So we have... I'm letting that E string or A string, excuse me, ring through because that sounds quite nice. Okay, and then we move to a D minor seven chord, which is actually that. Okay, uh, and you can use your third finger for this, but I use my pinky instead because I just like it, <laughs> I guess. So uh, you've got the D minor seven chord. One, one, two, and the open D string, and then using your pinky or your ring finger, it's on for one stroke and then off for two strokes. And then again, what I do to keep that rolling motion going is I pick through the chord. So that's what we have. We have. Then I hit a G bass note here, okay, and what I'm doing, I, I choose this fingering, you can choose a different one if you want to, but I kind of lead this section with my pinky, so to speak. Hit the uh, G bass note, and then what I'm doing, I've got my pinky on the third fret on the B string, and I'm strumming the D, the G, and the B. That's really important because that's going to walk you to that F note on the C suspended. So we have... And I land an F note on the uh, B string at the 6th fret and then fall into that C suspended chord. So that's kind of a tricky little move, but hey, it sounds kind of nice, so, you know. Again, nice and slow. You've got the two passing notes, classical style, second fret on the A string, third fret on the B. And then we land an A minor chord again. Now that's probably the easiest move in the whole thing. You can just see that on the tab, but it's... So you're just coming back and forth on the uh, B string at the third fret. So again, that movement. So once I hit the chord, you know, I kind of hang with the bottom three strings, the G, the B, and the E for that. But again, letting the A chord ring through, okay? but don't include the first E string in this. So you just have the D string, the G string, and the B string. You can see that on the tab pretty clearly. Hit a C note, first fret on the B string, and we're almost there. And you can see that's pretty easy again with the uh, tab on the screen. But again, I keep smacking that G note, you know, just to keep that rolling piano sound going. All right, so let's play through that whole section nice and slow.
have it. The uh, piano outro from Layla by Eric Clapton, Derek and the Dominoes. Thanks so much, guys. We'll see you soon.